For the 40th birthday of Ethernet, Bob Metcalf is coming back to Silicon Valley. His work 40 years ago at Xerox's Palo Alto Research Center resulted in the technology that is now networking the world in both wired and wireless forms. Bob lives in Texas now, but he was on a jog through California recently, first in San Diego for the Metro Ethernet Forum's Kerry Ethernet 2.0 event, and then in Palo Alto to help work on the 40th birthday celebration that's coming up in May. We took a few minutes with Bob in Palo Alto at the facility that's now just called Park to get some forward-looking thoughts about Ethernet. So tell me a little bit about what's being planned for the 40th anniversary of Ethernet. It's May 22nd, 22nd, 23rd. Yeah, Ethernet uh, was invented in a memoir I wrote on May 22nd, 1973. So if you do the arithmetic, 2013 would be the 40th anniversary. And the, uh, that was the memo in which Ethernet got named. Okay. And its general principles were sketched. So now it's time to celebrate the 40th anniversary. And the um, when I first offered that idea, a bunch of people like the idea. Apparently, I think it's because Ethernet is currently a big business. It's gotten really popular. And it's, it's caught on. Yeah. Although I will tell you right now, the thing I invented and what they call Ethernet today bear very little <laughs> resemblance to each other. Uh, so we're going to have this party at the Computer History Museum, fittingly, uh, here in Mountain View, California. Okay. And uh, it'll be two days, the 22nd, and then the evening of the 22nd and the 23rd. So there's really three events. There's a, the first day is a, a conference organized by the Palo Alto Research Center Park uh, about the innovation process. So we're really focused. I'm a professor of innovation now, so we're right, focused at on the... University of uh, Texas, University of Austin? University of Texas uh, at Austin. So we're going to talk about innovation using Ethernet as a case study. That's the first event. Then that evening there'll be a tour of the Computer History Museum and uh, uh, dinner and uh, awards and various gala type things. And then the next day we're going to focus on the present and future of Ethernet with the uh, basically a business industry briefings uh, uh, covering the current hundred billion dollar, roughly speaking, hundred billion dollar Ethernet industry. And, and do you ever think about where Ethernet would be going next, what the next steps ought to be? Well, first you have to grapple with the question of what Ethernet is, and then you can begin to talk about where Maybe it's I going. Maybe I should ask what should get invented next that can be called Ethernet later on. Well, that's kind of the, one of the neat tricks, is when someone comes up with something new and cool, they, they call it Ethernet, and that's... Uh, <laughs> We talked about Ethernet going wireless. Out of 1.2 billion ports shipped last year, 800 million were wireless. And about Ethernet changing forms to 100 gigabit, 400 gigabit, and terabit. I asked what happens after terabit, but Bob said there are more interesting questions to think about. But speed is not the only aspect of a network. There's latency, there's uh, security, availability, you know, a very long list of attributes. Yeah. And so a lot of the progress, I think, will be along those other attributes. Uh, I'm interested particularly in security, now that we've noticed how vulnerable the internet is yeah. uh, after all these years. Um, and then there's proliferation. Uh, you know, so it has to be made a lot, expense is another attribute. So we have to make it cheaper so we can get all seven billion people connected. It'll probably be nine billion by the time we're done. Right. <laughs> All right, well, Bob, thanks very much, and congratulations on 40 years of Ethernet. Thank you.